Yo guys, what's up? It's William here, and today we're going to unload the lifts at the golf court in Wishaw, the Belfry Hotel. Yeah, and why at the golf court? I got that question. Well, because there's a small expo here about lifts and safety. And when we're talking about lifts and safety, we say genie. So it's important for them to be present with some machines some latest inventions about safety in this branch and that's where we come in too because they want it to be as clean and neat as possible the machines to be delivered there so we arrange that well but we are going to focus on the unloading as i promised i sh yeah i will let this see how this trailer works how we fix things and yeah i made a nice and slow post so you can yeah easily check out how everything works and it's quite relaxing too i think so i didn't put much music on it and yeah i put on the gloves and we're just going to start with it i hope you enjoy it and yeah here we go <laughs> First things first, we're gonna open up the side and put the curtain all the way into the front. Then I decide to take out all of the the yeah, all of the planks, so we can enter the loading room easily. Before opening up the roof and taking out all of the rungs. I decide first to take off all the chains and straps. In my opinion, it's better to keep it as strong as possible for as long as possible because of the stability of the whole trailer. Because the trailer gets loose when you're opening up everything, it can't resist that much anymore. So it's always paying attention when it's windy. Remember, put everything nice, rattle in, away. 
A clean work spot is a safe one as well. And it works much, much easier. So, that's done. Now we can open the doors and pull open the roof. The woman was trying to help, but don't close the doors before opening the roof. It will be much easier when the doors are still open. But pay attention for people who are in the surrounding. We don't want them to get hurt. Never move the roof by pulling it at the wire which is there for locking up the roof. Pull the roof just out of the safety lock with it. Then grab the roof by the iron beams and pull or push them. Or walk next to it and pull it by the cord which is hanging there. When you don't have the space in the trailer to pull it there or push it there. The iron beams are the best. That's the most strong feature in the roof. Safety first. Close up the doors before somebody walks into it. You're not always alone there.
the roof wants to go back again because the trailer is a little bit uh, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit on a hill so uh, I could actually better just pull the roof that's also possible and then uh, you may have to make sure yeah not every trailer has this I know the chrome trailers doesn't have it but like this part on it's uh, there's also a safety a clip where it where the roof can fall in in the front and that's really good like when you see this if you have a crone it's always a, the problem that it runs back again so Now we can make it wider. First, we're gonna pull out the safety pins. Otherwise, it keeps stuck. Then, Take the swing and swing, 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 and this is what will happen. Just another preview. How cool is this? Hi, see you later. Good day, man. We created enough room for the machine now. Now it's time to place the ramps. In my opinion, these are the best we have. Four pieces and it's for a less steep drive out, which is not really necessary with this machine because of the height. But it's also more, yeah, I like it more to drive this machine also off with a more steep uh, hill. Also these uh, ramps are good because they are not so heavy. Four pieces, but yeah, we got longer ones. They are two pieces and they are much heavier. So this one are really great.
First, we're going to unload the basket. And I called in some help from inside because it's not really that easy. Because it doesn't want to go over the ramps. Uh, yeah, it is uh, okay but like this. Then we managed with each other. We placed it inside for the woman who is in charge. And she was very happy with that. So, we did a good job. Now it's time for the real deal, it's the big one. First, widening up the ramps. Then we get inside. And hook on the safety harness. And we're ready to go. So, I'm ready to do this. This is one of my first times by myself. I did it once time before, but 
yeah, the second time is still special, you know. So I think it's nice and slow. But better safe than sorrow. So if you don't know it for sure, make sure to check out. It's better to get outside and check it than damaging the load. Especially with this kind of machines. By the time I make this video, it gets much easier now. So, we reach ground floor. I just have to park it at the right spot and my work is done here. Closing up the trailer. It's not uh, the most special thing to see, so it's just basic. The uh, yeah, working backwards again from what you see. So we're gonna skip that, and yeah, I'm gonna move again.
now taking the right exit. After this, I load again for the Netherlands. I made it to the same ferry as I came up with. And I didn't have a share room. Yay for me! Next day, I unload in Marsha City. Well, I hope you enjoyed it again. Let me know what you think about it. And I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye!